uh, another very important uh, aspect of, of uh, uh, selecting a destination uh, by the Indian traveler is food. Now, I know from my own experience that Dar es Salaam and Arusha has a good choice of Indian restaurants that, that one can go to. Even many of the hotels, they have Indian dishes in the buffet, breakfast or the lunches and dinners. But when one goes into the national parks or uh, uh, the lodges over there, in comparison to say Kenya, for instance, because those two destinations are always running neck to neck when people are using uh, a trip to Africa. Uh, in that comparison, I found there was an acute shortage of uh, skills to prepare Indian uh, cuisine. So if, if there are uh, plans uh, by TTB to uh, bring in more Indian tourists, I think, do you have a, the question of uh -huh. mind is, do you plan to train your uh, chefs over there uh, in some basic Indian uh, cuisines or uh, some dishes? There, there's a, a saying, uh, Swahid is saying that uh, if you want to win a, a, a man, you have to do it through his stomach, yes. uh, through the food, the food that you give him. So <laughs> we, I mean, we do understand that um, there is that gap. And we, we are working with the uh, National College of Tourism uh, to see how we, get, we can also get, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, Indian celeb chef celebrities uh, to come to Tanzania. Uh, we take them on a tour, but also uh, have the him, him or her meet up with chefs of some of the lodges uh, in the national parks. Uh, that will give them, uh, the, 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 the Tanzanian chefs, an opportunity to, to learn about Tanzanian dishes, but also for the Indian chef, he'll be able to see um, the, the different spices and uh, yeah, vegetables, the fresh fruits, the organic foods that we have, and come up with dishes uh, that are available, but also have that Indian touch. So we are going to uh, we are working with the National College of Tourism. Uh, we've done that with uh, for the Chinese market, where we had chefs come in from from China, uh, and uh, they were able to visit some of the um, tourism schools, but also some of the major hotels and teach them uh, Chinese uh, cuisines. But now we're also looking forward to invite uh, Indian chefs, um, celebrities, so that they can also come and. Um, help our uh, art, arts and Indian chefs to learn more about the Indian dishes. That's very good. That's very good to hear. Uh, let me just uh, sort of uh, change my position on the desk and ask you a question. What is the impression of the Indian market among uh, the, the Tanzanian tourism vendors and the government as well? Because I know from uh, or I can admit that it's a different market. Uh, it can be quite demanding at times, uh, and it's very diverse in its choice. If you look at a if you look at a passenger coming from North India to a passenger coming to uh, say from Western India or from Southern India, they have different priorities, they have different demands. So, what is the what is the impression that you people have about us? So that you know, so there has to be a meeting of minds and you're looking at tourism. So if perhaps we can change other ways, like your sort of expectations that we, we should have when we are coming to Tanzania, or what we can do to make sure that, you know, it's easier to trade tourism between the two nations. Um, being one of the top 10 source markets, and uh, if you look at the figures, uh, there's great potential for the Indian market to grow in Tanzania. Um, I do believe that what the product that Tanzania has to offer is a product which is superior. We have a little bit of everything. For those people who, live, who love wildlife, Tanzania is the destination to go to. For people who want to come for adventure, Tanzania is a place to go to. Go to. People who want to climb mountains, Tanzania is a place to go to. 
for people who want total relaxation, the beach that we have, we, we have white sandy beaches, Zanzibar, or, or along the coastline, Tanzania is a place to go to. But uh, we can also offer business tourism. Uh, so there's so many um, uh, um, opportunities that the Indian traveler can get when they come to Tanzania. Um, we, we, we have seen a growth in the numbers and uh, the Tanzania trade, tourism trade, is interested to see that we are able to attract more Indian tourists to Tanzania. Do your, uh, uh, do your vendors find, find it easy or difficult to, to deal with the Indian buyer, or be the travel trade or the end consumer that comes over there, or in comparison to say your European market or your American market? What is the feedback that they give you? Uh, uh, is, it, is it a difficult market to handle? We don't mind if you're honest with us, <laughs> but we know sometimes we can be difficult. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> Will you keep it a secret? Uh, we well, will. We'll try, uh, we'll try our yeah. best. It's 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 a it's a it's it's um it's not an easy market. You need to prepare yourself. Uh, the Indian traveler would would fuss about maybe their food. They would. They were expecting uh, to get Indian dishes on the menu. Huh? They 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 might not have any problem in terms of communication, which is a plus to us because most of our driver uh, uh, driver guides speak English, and also um, and also in the in the in the accommodation facilities that will won't be a problem. Um, the fact that. Um, yeah um, what I'll, I'll also say is that uh, an Indian tourist compared to maybe a tourist from the US the, an Indian tourist would bargain the price whatever price you, you give him they would always want to bargain with something like that for other tourists is not common so but we, but what we're trying to do is, is that we're trying to um, get see that our our, 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 our um, private sector, uh, they, they are able to understand the, um, the character of the Indian traveler so that they can serve them or give them better services. Uh, yeah, so when they, they come to Tanzania, they feel at home and they get value for money. <laughs>